Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Um, right, today we're going to model a little mushroom house. Okay, so we're going to start off with a cylinder. Okay. Oh, by the way, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. Um, so we're going to put in a loop cut and just scale it out a little bit. Put in another, select the top one actually, and just scale it on in a bit. Select, make another loop cut and scale it on out maybe like that and then on here we need to select the top face and then we are going to extrude and then extrude on the Z again and then this little lot here select the edges and then loop select and then we're going to scale that on out like so, we're just going to bring that down. Okay, and then on the top here, we are going to delete that top one, top face. And then with all these vertices selected, press scale or S and zero. Let me turn on my screencast keys. Now what we need to do is control R, just chuck in a little loop cut and just bring it on over and then another one here. Scale that on up, kind of like that. Um, GG on the Z and then scale it out a little a wee bit. Okay, and then I think we just need a little cut at the bottom there. And then this bottom one, we're just going to scale back on in just like so. And then I think if we go to edges, select that loop there and just drag it on up like so. So that's our basis for the house. Um, shade smooth. Let's give it a little subdivision. Let's chuck in a loop cut down the bottom here, like so. And then the bottom face, we're just going to I to inset. So it gives it more of a flat bottom there. Okay. So I'm quite happy with that. It's just normals and there we go. That's better. Right, so now what we need to do is add a couple of steps to get into the house. So we're going to add a cube, scale it down like so, and going to scale that back on in but we're going to edit loop cut oh not that way though going to loop cut on the length there and then for number three for faces and e on the y to drag it out and smidge so these are little stairs so a little person that lives in there can get up and then we're just going to drag it across a little bit Right, so what do we need to do? And what we what we can do is we're going to create a cube. Just going to scale it on down and bring it out. Scale it right down. Um, scale it down a little bit more. And then just bring it on in so it just fits into the st 
stairwell but into the body of the house like so and then shift D on the X and then shift D on the Z so these are going to form shift D on the Z these are going to form the oval of the doorway um, we want to do shift D on the Z one more but this time I'm going to go into edit select edges so I'll select that one and that one we'll just bring them down okay and then we'll select these again so shift D on the Z again but we just want to curve it over like so same on there just want to curve it over like so so what you've got to remember is these are because this is an old building <laughs> I say an old building shift duplicate on the Z because it's like an old thing the they can be like random they don't have to fit properly um, just rotate them and then again shift duplicate on the Z so just gonna bring that one over and then the crown the crown the top piece just move it up so it all fits into place nicely don't want it misaligning do we and then we're going to fit a nice big just duplicate on the X and this one's going to fit in the center up here just scale that one up like there but on this one we're going to select the two bottom edges scale them on on the X kind of like that maybe just make it a wee bit bigger oh. wee bit bigger and I think a little bit smaller like so and these can just fit in nicely lovely jubbly <laughs> okay so there we have those the good thing is we can just bring it all back so it fits into the house just nicely it's an old rickety house so it doesn't really kind of sort of not really too bothered because that's you know that's how these things happen then this one we can just gonna select that and again there I'll just move these back in like so and then we're gonna do the door next Um, and then what we can do, I mean we can just edit so we can edit that one and then just bring it on back edit this one, just bring it on back and again on these you know, nothing's perfect in the cartoon or any, nothing's perfect in any world <laughs> Um, so we'll just bring them on back just so they kind of line up it doesn't have to be 
bang on. And then here, we've done that one. That one. We can just slip that and bring it back. That one. Maybe number one. Just pull that vertice out. So you see what I mean? You can just mess around with it until you get exactly what you need. And I think this one just needs to be made a wee bit smaller, like so. And because not everything has got sharp edges, we're going to... I'll tell you what we're going to do. Let's just chuck in the door. Um, so control A, let's chuck in a cube. Kind of the right size, which that isn't. Let's make that a bit smaller. So basically what I want to do is put that up there. Go into edit. Oh, that's way. Let's just bring that out there. Go control A because we want to trans all the reset all transforms. And now select edge. Top edge to one, top edge two. Control B to bevel. And then that's going to be our arch. And then we want to put in some new, some segments there, like so. And then on here, we can just bring it down. Let's just go into that mode. Let's go into faces, select the black dot at the bottom there, and just bring it down there. Um, and let's just select that back face, bring it forward, turn it off, select this face, bring it on back, and then we can object set the region, just sort of make it fit. What we can do is just take these vertices at the bottom here, one, two, three, and just pull them back, pull them back in there, like so. There's our door. Um, and now let's just do a control R. here because then we can just bring the edge out slightly kind of make it fit if you see what I mean maybe control B give it a little bit of a bevel there select that edge at the bottom there just bring it out because it's um, trying to convince myself here because <laughs> it's fantasy you know kind of like that so the door fits in there and what about a door handle so what we can do for a door handle is shift A Let's create a, we need a UV sphere. Let's just bring that up. Oh, it's a little bit big. Rotate on the X90, like so. Scale that down. Maybe that sort of size. And bring it down. And across. Yeah, I think that's probably a little bit big. And then what we need to do then is do Alt A to so deselect. Um, let's just 
focus on there, press C to select, and then maybe that next sort of lot. Um, bada beam, bada boom, like that. Um, let's select faces, and then that lot around there. And then what we're going to do is we select dots and then do that and then select active elements um, scale y zero and then we can just extrude on the y something like that looks oh my mouse is playing up of course it is Oh, let's see what we did there. So, control plus select them all. And then we want to do P for the selection. Tab out, just select that. Do object set origin to geometry. And then we can just bring it on over. Bring it on out, like so. Okay, so there's the door handle. The door. Um, the bricks. So, what can we do next? What we can do is, we're gonna do a little bit of painting. Okay, so how do we paint? So the mushroom, what we're going to do is first of all, I'm going to reset all transforms. Go to A, select all. We're going to UV, smart UV project. Um, island margin 0.05. And okay, now we're going to go to UV editing. As you can see, where we got all our sorry, not UV editing, texture paint. <laughs> so as you can see, our mushroom is pink. That's because we don't have a texture on it. So what we do is we select the plus, and we're just going to go with base color. I'm going to go with resolution of 2048 by 2048 and the base color sort of maybe like that and then okay so there we've got our base color and now hopefully we can paint <laughs> fingers crossed so we select our brush we've got our brush selected here we want red because we're going for a stereotypical um, mushroom here. Um, so we're just going to paint all on our mushroom here. Nice red colour. Like so. Oops. Let me just undo. Oh. I'll sort that out in a minute. Let's just get the paint done. Um, spin around. Better beam, better beam. Like so. And then once that is done, once we've got the paint on that, we can then put the white dots on. <laughs> like in a minute so it's quite easy to set it up for painting um, I mean you know you could just add a material just a red material or you could export the 2d image there and paint on that but where's the fun where's the fun in that eh? Ooh. 
and then we can just bring the radius of the brush down and then we're going to change to white and then boom 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 you can just put your dots on wherever you like just so we can see what's going on boom 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 just be you know just go trigger happy with your blue with your white dots <laughs> don't be afraid oh what happened there don't be afraid you can make big ones if you want don't have to keep to the size of the brush I'm going to chuck in a few larger ones around just to, you know. So there we are with that. Quite happy with that. Um, so we need to save this because um, this will be separate to the model. So we go to image and save it in your folder. Um, I'm going to create a new folder. And I'm going to call mine mushroom mushroom material and save okay now the base here oh let's just get a bit more red in there right so now the base i'm gonna go let's see how that pans out that's actually not too bad Actually, I don't, yeah, that's actually not too bad. So that's the color it's going to be. We just, obviously all these different models here that we can just paint there. Like so. And then we can paint on the underside of so we're just going to move this up and paint on the underside here. Let's, if you press F, you can make your brush smaller or larger, depending on what you want. So I'm just going to go for a smaller brush. Obviously, if you're better at painting, then you don't need to do this bit because you'll have. Um, I'm sure you will have uh, done a better job than me. <laughs> Can't all be good at everything, can we? Or maybe we can. It's like painting your house. Just slap the paint on here and there and everywhere. And everybody's happy. Well, they're not, but you know what I mean? Like so. And then we can get a darker sort of mushroomy colour, make the brush a little bit smaller, and then just sort of scooch on in. Maybe we need it a little bit bigger. Sort of like that, but also what we can do is used to soften kind of brush so just sort of go around you know what a, a mushroom looks like I'm just gonna get all the way around there just 
try and uh, unfortunately I don't have a tablet so it's a little bit difficult with a mouse I'm sure that you'll understand when you start doing this yourself oops <laughs> And then get round to the end there. Like so. Uh, as I say, what we can do is just make that brush a little bit bigger. And just kind of blend it in. Like so. Just so the, it's not so, you know, pin sharp. Like that. La la la. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to give give the don't forget to give the video a like, please. Um, I think that's like so. And then maybe some. smaller just gonna pull that strength down a bit and change that to smaller smaller um brush sort of in between So this is the stroke method is dots um, and we put the jitter on so you're going to get lots of different but just be dotted all over the place rather than a single just to give it a little bit of sort of mess we really need to turn down that um, specular I think so I'll give it a little bit of dirty a dirt bottom bit there let's just do a little bit more up there I think um, let's just and strength just give the bottom a little bit more so it's a little bit darker Not there as well. Like so. How are we looking so far? Pretty damn good. Okay, now I think what we need is to save okay so we can go back to that anytime um, okay but I think we need to turn down the specular and turn up the roughness and we will see right so what about these here so let's create a new kind of like a dark grey 
ish. Um, and then we can just add that to all of them. We, I think what we need to do is to rough it up a little bit, in all honesty, because, you know, this is supposed to be like an old house or an old mushroom house. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to do a little bit of sculpting on it, okay? Not too much, but just enough to give the the door is going to be maybe a brown colour that is going to be silver let's just crank up metallic Ooh. right so the I think what we need to do I'm going to go into, let me just reset all transforms on these. I'm going to do the stairs as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into sculpting. Right, so don't forget, so select your item, turn on dyno topology. I've changed mine to seven. And then we can just give it a little you know, you just make it a little bit old, old and worn, sort of thing, all on the edges there. In fact, that centre, I think the centre piece there, will be worn down. So what we're going to do is we're going to get the, that one, we're going to do control. So hit control and that'll be a negative. So we just want to make it look like, you know, it's been used for years and years. I know it looks a bit over the top, but you know what? We don't care, do we? Let's turn that strength down. I just want a little bit of smooth, smooth it out a little bit. Make it look, there we go, that's better, no, not so sharp edges look. Um, on the corners there. Just like that, I think that looks pretty cool. Um, so we're going to do this block here. Sculpt mode, don't forget to turn on dynamic topology. Hit number seven. I'm just going to add some bits here, but then also smooth it off. Like so, just to give it. Oh, I need to. Object. Um, sculpt again dynamic topology 7 just give it a little bit of a make it look a little bit uneven like so do you get the uh, do you get the idea that's what I'm gonna do so I'm gonna just speed this up Right, what we're going to do is to save a bit of time. Just going to delete those. Copy. Shift D on the X. 
and then we're gonna mirror on the X and then we're gonna just bring that object set origin to geometry just bring it on in like so yeah I quite like that um, let's just sort this Okay, what we could do is just paint it on here because then it doesn't matter if we go over the top then there we go image save And then we also maybe that's the one. And that one here. And where else are we? Oh this one I think. No. There we go. Um let's just save that image save we can go back into modeling switch that off let's give it a little shift a a little base cylinder scale it on up drag that down sort of there Maybe make it like a green for grass. Maybe make it a bit darker green. Change that lighting because that's like well harsh. We're going to change the lighting to an area light. I do like a good area light. Let's just reset. Um, like so. So I just want to bring that over. I'm going to make it on the X. That. That. I'm just going to bring that over. Voila. There we go. Let's just smooth. Go to normals. There we go. Maybe just scale it up a bit. And there's your little house. Cycles, denoise. There's a little mushroom house. Wow. That didn't take too long, did it? I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Um, don't forget to like, give us a like on the video. Hit that notification bell. And yeah, any comments, drop them down below. So yeah, thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video. Ta-da for now.